Mr. Tracy, you said this was your first night smashing mailboxes. Oh, I wasn't smashing the mailboxes, but it was my first night going out with Dennis, who was smashing the mailboxes. Um, but Mr. Knox had told you that these houses had been targeted before. Yeah, he liked that neighborhood. At least three other times he mentioned? Um, yeah, at least three. He told you all of this before you agreed to go? Yeah. Oh. He thought it would be fun to ruin somebody's mailbox. Um, I had nothing better to do that night, so yeah. You didn't think what you were doing was wrong? Well, I mean, of course it was, it was wrong, but it wasn't like hurting anybody. It wasn't hurting anyone to vandalize their mailboxes late in the middle of the night. No, and those are nice houses. They can replace a mailbox, but it was just kind of, just kind of fun. When you smash a mailbox, when you destroy a mailbox, it makes a loud metal no noise, right? Yeah. Like a bang. Yeah. And it was a completely dark in that neighborhood. Yeah, it was like one in the morning, two in the morning. You had your headlights off, right? Yeah. So you couldn't see much? Well, no, but there were street lamps at the, at the neighborhood. So it was like a, just a circle. So we were able to like go around the circle. A neighborhood, it was quiet, right? Yes. But you could hear the bang of the mailbox in the middle of the night. Well, that I guess was Dennis's point that he wanted to make that loud noise in the middle of the night. That was his thing. Now, your thing, your parents' Jeep only suffered front damage. After I got shot in the back, I accelerated forward just as an out of instinct and I hit a tree. Yes. Um, there was no damage to the side of the vehicle. No, and it was like a late model Jeep from the 90s, so it just, it didn't really have the doors, so there really wasn't a lot there. Yeah, you mentioned hitting a tree. It was directly with the front of your Jeep. The way that the circle went, where I got shot, I accelerated and it just went forward directly into the tree. Okay, so let's talk about the, the place. You drew this drawing from what you remember that night. Is that correct? Yes. And you remember four houses. It was my first time in the neighborhood. All, all the houses were further on back from the road, so I only remember four. Right. But there's five houses in that neighborhood. I guess. It was dark. It was just, I was just there for a minute or so circling. It really wasn't, I, we weren't there that long. So you weren't able to get a good view of everything? I couldn't see all the houses from the road, no. Now, that night you smashed two mailboxes? I think so. After that last mailbox, you were going to leave? Yeah, I was following Dennis's instructions. He was good after two. So did this house get their mailbox smashed? Um, I don't know. The first one when we entered the neighborhood, then there was the second one, and then when I went to pull around, that's when I got shot. Okay. So this house didn't get their mailbox smashed? I'm not sure. Okay, you're not sure. Now, after the, the mailbox smashing, you started to make your way up to Senior Road, right here, right? Yeah, you had to follow the circle around to go back out towards the main road until you were shot in the back. Right. And as you said, after being shot, you press your foot on the accelerator. After I got shot, I just, yeah, my foot just like went down. I was already accelerating to get out of the neighborhood. And then when I got shot in the back, I just slammed my foot down and went right off the road. And ended up right here. That's where we hit the tree. Yes. Now, do you drive with both arms on the steering wheel? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, or just one? I mean, at that, usually it's just the, the one. The right or left arm? 
um, I'm a, I'm a right-handed, so it would be my right hand. But you weren't shot in either arm, were you? No. No bullet entered through the sides of your body. Right, I was shot in the back. You suffered no injury to your limbs. Well, not my arms and my legs, no. Mr. Knox was in the passenger seat, is that correct? Yes. To your right side? Yes. But he wasn't shot? No. He suffered no injuries? No. So you were only shot through the back, not the side? I was hit on my left hand side in the back. It came, the bullet came out my front. So not my arms or my legs. Now, I want to refer to you to what um, opposing counsel uh, has already entered. Um, so these are showing the bullet what entrance. It only entered through the back, right? Right. Exited through the front. That's right. And that was the extent of your injuries. Well, that was plenty. You never saw who injured you. No. I was you shot never from the saw, back. It came from behind me. You never saw anyone in that neighborhood? No. You didn't see any of the people that lift their gun in? No, I didn't see anybody. From my understanding, they were hiding in their front yard. But in the moment, you didn't know that? Well, in the moment, no. In the moment, I didn't see anybody. After the incident, Dr. Elizer sent flowers to your hospital room. Yes, he did. But you didn't know him before the incident. No, he was the one that pulled me out of the car, and he was the one that called the ambulance, and he's the one that applied pressure to my wound until the ambulance got there. Again, after the incident, you were never contacted by police. No, I wasn't. Or an investigator? No. A prosecutor? No. Basically, no one from law enforcement investigated your gunshot wound. Well, the police were there at the scene. They took a statement. They took several statements. I know that they tried to talk to several of the neighbors, too. But they never got back to you after that night? No. Did the this made you feel better? Bitter? Um, I mean, on top of everything else, the fact that they never, like, caught the guy. Yeah. Upset? Well, yeah, I'm upset. Like, it changed my entire life. Like, everything's changed now. And, you know, they never, they never followed up. The police never did anything? No. No further questions, Your Honor.